A lot of teens are excited to turn 18, but it was really hard um, being in the foster care system. Still being in a group home, it's kind of scary. They have the option to just kind of kick you out whenever, and without family, it's kind of scary, not knowing where you were gonna go or who's gonna be able to help you. When I was leaving the group home, I was expecting to live with my boyfriend and turn it into me living with him in an apartment. It just it didn't go the way I wanted it to. I got really depressed and I didn't keep going to work like I should have and then we ended up homeless. And I didn't really want to accept help because I mean I wasn't getting it from the people who were supposed to be giving it to me, such as my mom and my boyfriend. And so it just was like maybe I don't deserve the help and I put myself in this situation so I gotta live through it. It got to the point where I was just super uncomfortable. Sleeping on park benches and not having something to eat all the time was kind of hard and I was just, it got to the point where I knew that I deserved better and that I shouldn't have been out on the streets. And I wanted to be um, a positive role model for my younger siblings. I wanted to be something that they could look up to and try to strive for. At that point, I was like, this is enough. I need to do what I need to do. When I first came into Foster Arizona Housing Project, I had kind of dreaded having all the rules and having to have a mentor. Back then, I thought it was kind of like a waste of time, and I didn't feel as if I needed any guidance in that sense, but things did change. I ended up really enjoying um, Karen, and <laughs> we hang out once a month, twice a month. I mean, even though I'm not in the program anymore, it's still a close bond, and I'm glad that I got to meet her. <laughs> When I first met Elvia, I really had no clue whatsoever what she was going to be like, and I really didn't have any expectations. But you fear what that relationship's going to be like. I remember her not wanting a mentor, and she was afraid that the person that she received wouldn't really care for her. That was only doing, basically doing a job, that it wasn't someone that was going to be genuine that really cared for her. So I remember us talking, and we really like each other. I found this girl that I think is strong and resilient and is like amazing. She is always getting back up. She is always, always, always getting back up. I got to see and develop a relationship with someone that is truly an incredible person. Karen to me is more of a, a foster mom. Even though she wasn't there my whole life, it still feels like she's cared for me my whole life. I, I love her so much, you know? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I really do care about her. We've gone through so much together that I feel, honestly, it's only brought us closer. She has shown me that people can overcome and people can grow and that you don't necessarily look at a book and not open it up and see what the many layers are, the many pages. She was there to help me when things got really tough. There was a couple nights where I just called her because I was, I was crying and I didn't know I didn't have anybody to call and talk to about it. And I'm just glad that she was there because it made me feel so much better to know that somebody was there and just listening. There are thousands of kids like her out there that need help, that they are not kids to be fearful of. I hope I help people understand that these kids aren't really any different than their own kids. These kids need our help. We need to make the difference. We need to do for them to make a difference. Foster Arizona meant a lot for me to have this opportunity. I don't know where I'd be right now if it wasn't for you guys. From 2015 to 2018, I had 18 different placements. This was the first place that I had been for longer than six months. I ended up staying close to two years, and it was, it was really hard for me to want to go out on my own. I actually met my roommate through the program, and we're just so close. Because of the program, I've learned how to money manage, and being that you guys were always there, it was kind of nice. It made me feel more relaxed, um, not so stressed about everyday life and I really am glad that I got this opportunity because not a lot of kids do and a lot of them either become homeless or pregnant and have nowhere to go. I wish there was more programs like this. We need to let them know that we see them, that we care.